touchy, but yeah, keep your game up. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm probably uh, the last ten minutes of the first half, uh, we were much better, and and yeah, we had a, a really dominant second half. And so uh, yeah, it was pleasing. Yeah, you know, we had a lot more possession, and um, yeah, we had high completion rate, so we built a bit of pressure on Manly, and they're you know really strong defensive side. They've showed that in the first you know, um, you know seven or eight games, and um, yeah, we just had to keep chipping away. Darius and North really came alive uh, tonight. Anything you need from us? That's the best game you think. Yeah, no, it, was, it was pleasing. Um, you know, we we made quite a few line breaks tonight, which um, you know, off the back of Milf and and, uh, and you know, Darius did a really good job there. You know, a, a really great ball there for Corey in one of his tries, and um, obviously on the inside of, of Melly, they that game plan that. So, uh, you know, it was pleasing to see both of those guys perform highly. But um, yeah, we, we still got a lot of improvement in us, and we, we need to you know continue to build. And, um, yeah, and that's it's part of the process. We're better tonight. We've got to keep getting better. How's Jack Bird? Yeah, the Birdie, um, he's, he's going to go straight to, to get a scan now. Um, um, you know, so again, it looks to be quite serious, but, you know, I, I don't want to, um, you know, um, yeah, pre, prejudge what, what we're going to find. But yeah, he, he's, um, yeah, he's injured his knee and, and it seems to be quite bad, but we'll see. There were quite a, bit, a lot of injuries tonight. Do you think it was just bad luck or the service contributed? Um, I think just bad luck, yeah. I don't think... Um, yeah, we had two guys who couldn't go back on, but, that, yeah, I don't think it was anything to do with the service, you know. Yeah. What are the medicos think, so you can use possible ACL? Um, no, I prefer not to comment publicly until we get the scan, but um, it appears to be not great. Does so, this mean um, James Roberts is now off limits, mate, if Birdie's facing a long spell? Yeah, well, it, you know, regardless of what's reported, Buzz, um, you know, Jimmy hasn't come and seen me and, and, and asked to speak to other clubs. Obviously, he's got a, another 18 months with us, but, um, you know, it's good that we've got, you know, quality replacement there um, in James. And obviously, Jermaine um, Asako didn't play the night either, so, um, you know, we've got a couple of options there. But, um, you know, Jimmy trained well during the week in uh, in our Renegades group, which is the um, you know, the guys who, who didn't play tonight. And, um yeah, we'll, we'll see how but he if you in. were thinking that maybe you know if he really wanted to release, you'd consider it. Would you still consider it now? Now you're in trouble with that birdie, or is it hands off? Oh no, dude. But it, J Jimmy and Jermaine uh, and Tavita, you know, being dropped to the bench, that was that was more on on um, you know a couple of recent performances. I need to make some change. So um, you know, personally, I haven't had had any. Um, you know, feedback from Jimmy that that he wants to leave, but I understand there's a bit of speculation around. But um, no, we'll go back back to work tomorrow, and um, you know, Jimmy will be there, and we'll crack on with things. Just See with Jack, not not just bad timing for yourself, but also for uh, the Blues. He's probably well in the frame for mm. that jersey, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, again, I, I don't want to sort of um, you know, prejudge what we're going to find there, but um, yeah, he's quite upset in the change room, so that's never a good sign. Um, yeah, well, I would. You know, would have expected to, you know, Bertie to, to, to be in contention there. Yeah, definitely. So you, see, you were part of the Maroons when Milford made his debut. Mm -hmm. The way he's playing at the moment, could he be that super sub option for the bench? Um, yeah, certainly. Millie's got a ton of ability, and um, you know, he's he, sh he showed that tonight. Um, I think Heavy uh, used him as a five-eight from memory back then a couple of years ago. Um, and I'm not sure if he's had a game since then, but oh, yeah, just off the top of my head, you know, he'd, he'd do a job if Kevin picked him. Yeah. So, I mean, there was always a lot of focus on Darius. Well, not just this week, but recently, it's about his form. Darius said, "My oh, form's not that bad." But even so, immense pressure on him, external pressure. He showed a bit of character, not did that show what sort of player he's. Yeah, Brady. Uh, you know, the thing is, you know, with champion players like Darius, who've played 300 games and he's won a couple of premierships and played a stack of Test footy and, and, and Origin footy, they put a lot of deposits in the bank. You know, over a period of time, they've earned the trust of, of you know, coaches or coaching staffs, and um, you know, you, you don't lose that quality or that class overnight. And I understand that there's been some criticism of him, and there's been certain areas of his game that you know we've spoken about him improving, and there's been certain areas of his game that you know I thought that he's he's been uh, on top of, and uh, I was really pleased for him because yeah, there'd been a um, you know a bit of. Um, I suppose media talking around Darius, so I was really pleased for him. He, he um, 
he's a good pro and he's, he's been working really hard at his game, you know, during the week. And, you know, some weeks it's transferred to game day and other weeks uh, not so much. But that's probably been reflective of our team, really, I think. So Payne Huss, 236 metres tonight, pretty amazing effort for a 19-year-old. Yeah. He's going good, Pete, yeah. <coughs> yeah. No, he's, um, he's a handful, obviously. Um, you know, I think... Um, you know, if he continues to work hard at training, you know, can continue to, to, to play, you know, footy like that. You know, he, he's a big one um, that, you know, he works hard during the week and it transfers to game day. So, you know, my challenge, you know, to Pano each week is just be consistent. Um, you know, he's only, what, four or five games into his career. So it's only, you know, baby steps so far, but it yeah, shows a, a heap of potential and we just got to continue to, you know, as I said, uh, educate him and, and help him with, you know, being the, the player that he can be. Petra said this week, Anthony, that he feels he's ready for... Um, you know, I haven't thought too much about it, but I, I would, yeah, you know, I understand he might be in the frame there. I'm not sure what other options are available for New South Wales, but um, Pano, you know, he's been an elite junior player. Just obviously last year got injured after I think his third game, and um, you know, I've shown a lot of faith in him. I'd be pretty much from from when he finished his, his suspension, I, I put him straight into our starting side because that's what I saw at training from him. So. Um, whether he's ready for football, I'm not sure. That's, you know, I mean, Freddie and, and New South Wales selectors have got to um, you know, make that judgment. But um, he's been really consistent uh, since you know his first game, which was yeah, I can't remember even when it was. Might have been against the Tigers or something like that. But he's been consistent over the last four or five weeks for us. He doesn't make mistakes, does he? Which is what you want in a direct board, obviously. Mistake free. Oh yeah. I again, you know, I, I hate to sort of. Talk, talk him up too much, you know, like Pano's at the very beginning of his career. He might have played a total of eight games all up, so it's a big jump up to State of Origin, you know. Um, but I'm not selecting the team. I just know that um, I'm going to start him every week when he uh, trains consistently and, and plays like he did tonight. So if the Roosters next week, they'll so dominant yeah. against you in round four, yeah. I think. How important is it that you... Is it a test of character for the side to, to, to <laughs> yeah, beat them this time? Well, it's a big challenge, yeah. You know, obviously, um, we were nowhere, nowhere near in there in round four. Oh, round four, I think it was. And, um, yeah, they're a class above, but we probably haven't been on our, uh, on our own in that regard. You know, uh, they led uh, Melbourne 20-0. They led uh, Cronulla 30-0 the week after um, us. They led us 24-0. Um, they jumped out to a pretty good lead against the Dragons, and Dragons sort of hung tough with them. So yeah, they're a really dominant side at the moment. Obviously, you know, West Tigers had a good win tonight, but they beat them 42-12. So they look like they're a million miles in front of, of just about anyone else in the comp, uh, maybe other than South Sydney at the moment. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a big challenge for us. It's at home. Um, you know, we've got to see how Tavita is, see how Jack Bird is, because we lost a couple of, uh, of guys tonight. And uh, really great somehow, you know, come out and, and um, yeah, Give, give a really positive performance for our home crowd. If Jimmy plays there, do you think that's going to get the best out of him, that matchup against Luttrell? Or it's yeah, it's a good challenge for whoever plays at centre there, you know, whether it's Jimmy or, or Gamut or, or Jermaine. <coughs> um, but, um, yeah, I'll, what I want to do is have a good look at tonight's game, you know, have a look at the areas we can be better with and then sort of pick a team on um, on what we're confronting, which, which is obviously Luttrell. It's a, um, yeah. Pretty fair. Um, well, he's the best left centre in the competition at the moment. So, Seems, what's your thoughts behind picking up Segiaro? Yeah, well, originally um, we, we were led to believe that Mac uh, Andrew McCulloch would need an operation, uh, which would have him out for about 10 to 12 weeks. We got some really good news on, um, I think it was Wednesday night from memory, that um, he didn't need the operation. It's probably closer to six weeks um, or seven weeks. Young Jake Turpin tonight, that was his third game of NRL. I thought he did a terrific job to play 80 minutes. He, he hasn't played 80 minutes at this level ever, obviously. So his third NRL game, if he he was in a bit of doubt, he only trained once this week, Jake. Then our next option was Corey Pakes, who's an 18-year-old kid who's a developmentist player. So we'd have to apply for dispensation for him. So with, with Cody Nicarima going, we had a spot on our... Um, roster, um, you know, Ch Chico hasn't been able to, to play for the Sharks this year, and, but he's played a lot of NRL. Um, he's a good four; he'll be a good four for Jake Turpin. So, you know, we think he'll um, come into our 17 there and, and share that role with Jake while while Mac is out. And, um, yeah, so you know, ho hopefully it's only sort of six weeks that Mac is out. But yeah, in, in the interim, we just thought we need to put some support around Jake and. Uh, and, um, yeah, young Corey Pakes, who um, warmed up with us tonight. What could Segiaro provide to the squad? 
Oh, everyone's seen him play. Like he's he's a he's a bit of a spark out of dummy half. Defensively, he's pretty aggressive. Um, he's got a bit of personality about him as well, uh, from what I understand. I've, 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 I don't know him that well, but I, I met him years ago when I was um, coaching the Queensland Cup. So he's a character, and um, yeah, he'll um, yeah he'll come in. He'll have to, as I said, um, earn the trust of the group, and earn the trust of myself and the coaching staff. But talking to him to this afternoon, he's he's up for it. Um, he tells me he's always wanted to play for the Broncos, so we'll give him an opportunity.